What's going on guys, my name is Jack, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to do the smooth walk by transition effect, where essentially a person walks from one side of the screen to the other, and of course, we create a mask so that it looks like they walk basically a new clip onto the screen, right? And a very, very simple effect, also extremely effective effect. This just makes edits flow so nicely. Whenever you can create a transition out of uh, an already, already existing clip, so for example, uh, a, a transition that could have been here, hypothetically, could have been something synthetic where the screen zooms in or whatever, something that as a viewer you know is a transition. Transition-wise, the way you can actually make edits flow super smooth and uh, basically just bring them to that next level of production value is doing stuff like this particular transition here. Transitions that the average viewer might not even realize has gone down and they don't even realize and uh, they're pretty much just getting carried through this edit without necessarily even thinking, oh wow, that's a great piece of editing there. They just kind of are carried along the, uh, the video and overall your video looks so much smoother when you use stuff like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the walk by transition effect tutorial. Okay guys, so go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. Uh, of course you can do this in um, other programs as well. However, obviously I just know how to simply run it through in Premiere Pro. Pretty much all my tutorials, I'm sure if you've been watching them, you know that I, I try to tell you that you can pull this effect off in another program as well if you prefer to go over there but I'm just gonna be doing it in Premiere Pro anyways basically the way we're gonna do this is right here let me just pull this out a little bit more so we have more time before this girl comes across the screen it's just literally a recording of the, uh, the street and then this girl walks past we basically want to mask it so when she walks right here um, on the left hand side over here of course a new clip begins to play and the new clip that we're gonna actually get to play is actually gonna be this hold tight let me just bring that in a little bit. Boom. Nice. Now, that's obviously just a recording from the club. People going a little bit crazy, right? Whatever. I'll probably start it from like here. Do, 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 do. Whatever the situation may be. Right now, we just want to pretty much go about doing this. So let's go ahead and play it and see where we're going to start. Now, the best way to actually do this particular one right here, guys, is going to be to actually find the point where the side of the clip um, that we want to put something underneath starts showing. So for example, if we go back a frame, there is nothing showing yet from that side other than down here. However, I think it would be better to just start filling it in on this side, uh, not in between her legs, because that, that bit goes in and out uh, pretty much. But as soon as this frame right here comes into show, we are going to actually want to go ahead and go up to our top layer, go down to the pen tool, and just go ahead and mask out a little a little shape around this area uh, here. Now we are going to do a couple things in a second to this to this area. Actually, my bad. And I just got rid of the um, <laughs> I just got rid of my mask. It doesn't have to be the ma best mask in the uh, in the world, rather. But don't do a really uneven one because it it just won't look like that good of um of, of an effect, pretty much. Um, but once you do that, you'll notice it will actually highlight that bit. Don't worry, all you have to do is click invert here and it will start taking away that bit. Also, now that we've done our first mask, if we click off of it, you see it's kind of a little bit harsh. What we probably wanna do is just drag it out a little bit maybe, right? Go ahead and put the feather up a nice bit. Let's put the feather on maybe like a 50. All right, so now if we go, we see that it's also starting to blend a little bit more. And then maybe if we mess with the expansion that could be getting a nice smooth cut but I think I'm gonna bring my feather down a little bit and now let's just go ahead and drag this one in so it's looking nice and even and it really is uh, different for each project guys so just mess around with it as you will I'm just gonna leave it like that I think that's already looking I think that's already looking decent you know what I mean now once you've got a basic mask and a basic uh, yeah, a basic mask for the first frame. You're basically just gonna wanna go ahead and click the toggle animation on your mask, right? And then simply go ahead and start jumping in frame by frame. And then yes, adjusting it. And that is the key, is just bringing it back down and just adjusting each one of these points so that whatever is uh, behind her leg is going to be cut away. So the way I do this is I keep moving it back out, right, move it back in a little bit, and pretty much just set this up and adjust it 
until you're kind of happy with it, right? Okay, now masking is the biggest effort in the world, guys. There is no two questions about that. Absolutely no two ways around that. All I have to do right now is simply go back here, go ahead and put that there. And basically now that I've finally completed the mask, if we go ahead and play this, this girl will walk past and literally just walk into the club pretty much. It looks very, very basic, very raw at the moment. However, if you guys spend a little bit more time on this and actually get the mask kind of perfect, and overall, just like I said, just spend a lot more time on this, you will get a much more smooth but still amazing effect right here. Honestly, it didn't take me too long to pull off this tutorial right here. It really won't take too long. Um, it's just a matter of actually spending all that extra time on actually getting the mask super precise. Whereas you can see, you can still see little bits of the background poking through here. But overall, I'm just pretty much trying to put together the basic idea of this effect for you guys. Thank you for watching the video. I believe that right there is the effect nice and complete. So let's just watch it one more time. Very simple. Very, very simple indeed. Thank you guys for watching another video. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that simple, simple stuff. Would be hugely appreciated if you guys did it. Like I said, uh, or I, I actually didn't even say this. I upload video production theme videos every single day. Or I'm on a huge roll. This is my 30th day or my 29th day. Something like that. Big, big stats. Big goals. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.